Considering getting online with Virgin Media Broadband? In this video, we've reviewed Virgin Media to see if they're any good. We've looked at the pros and cons of this provider and concluded whether or not they're worth joining. Before we begin, if you're looking for a new broadband provider, click the first link in the description to read our broadband deals guide. This article explains which are the best broadband providers in the UK right now in different categories and explains the differences between them. You can use this guide to find the right broadband provider for your specific needs depending what you're looking for in a broadband plan. Let's get started. So Virgin Media is more of a premium broadband provider. When you put in your postcode, you'll get a few different speeds to choose from, and the packages normally include a lot of extras as well. This can be a bit overwhelming, and even here, you won't see the full range of speeds available. What they're doing is pushing some of their more expensive plans. So after you put in your postcode, you'll need to navigate back to broadband, then it'll show a bigger range of deals with just broadband and not all of these extras. Of course, if you want the extras, you can go up here and then look at broadband and phone, broadband and TV, um, broadband and SIM, and other categories of deals. But if you just want to start from the ground up, you can add a broadband deal to basket and then begin adding stuff onto it. You can basically customize the whole thing, similar to how it works when buying BT broadband, which is nice. So these are the main speed options, but they don't want you to buy the slowest one and they've made it more expensive. This isn't a problem though, because if you can get Virgin Media, you can likely get all of these different speeds. And there might even be a faster package than this because they're rolling out 2000 megabits in some locations at the moment. So Virgin Media owns O2, so they try and push these SIM plans onto you on an 18 month contract. But generally these are pretty poor value for money, especially given you have to lock in. Even though you can get a speed boost with some of these more expensive SIMs, they're generally not worth considering. Let's begin with what's good about Virgin Media Broadband. The first is the download speeds they offer. In most places with Virgin Media, they're the fastest provider you can choose. You can currently get 1130 megabits per second on their fastest plan in most areas. And in some locations, they're rolling out a two gigabit service, which is coming to more addresses at the moment. Other broadband networks like BT OpenReach are also upgrading their networks, but at the moment, Virgin Media is often the fastest. Unless you live in London, in which case, you might be able to get 3000 megabits per second with community fiber. The other big benefit of Virgin Media is they can be quite price competitive. Compared to providers like BT, Virgin Media often has lower upfront costs, and they also offer an 18 month contract, rather than having you commit for 24 months like BT does. This depends though, Virgin Media does fluctuate their pricing quite a lot, depending on the promotions they're currently running. To find out if Virgin Media offers good prices at the moment, come to our broadband deals guide and click on the prices for BT, Vodafone and other providers, as well as Virgin Media down here, to see if they offer good value. And finally, the other reason you might like to consider Virgin Media is the range of add-ons available. They're one of only a few broadband providers in the UK, along with probably BT and Sky, they can offer a complete, all-inclusive, phone minutes, broadband, and TV package. If you want cable TV, Virgin Media is hard to beat, and their landline calling options are better value than what BT offers at the moment, especially if you want anytime calls. They deliver TV service through their cable technology, meaning you don't need a satellite dish installed. And you can also get an O2 SIM card included as a free benefit with one of these bigger packages some of the time. Just note that Virgin Media's big packages can be quite expensive in terms of their monthly cost. But if this is what you're looking for, you'll probably find similar prices with BT and Sky, so Virgin Media is definitely worth considering. Now, let's look at some of the downsides to choosing Virgin Media Broadband. The first, and a bit of a small one for most people, is the upload speeds. When you compare their plans to similar speed options from the likes of BT or Sky, you'll notice that the upload speed is quite a bit lower. And Virgin Media's upload speeds are a lot lower than what they are with some alt-net fibre providers like Hyperoptic and Community Fibre. With these smaller, independent operators, you normally get the same download and upload speeds. So, if you buy Hyperoptic's 900 megabit plan, you'll get a 900 megabit upload speed. But with Virgin Media's gigabit plan, although you'll get a faster download speed, your upload speed will only be about 100 megabits per second. A 50 to 100 megabit upload speed is plenty for most people, but if you often upload large files, such as for work, if you work in something like video editing or graphic design, 
you might want a faster upload speed. Another sort of tricky thing about Virgin Media is it can be a bit more difficult to switch to them compared to switching to the likes of BT or Sky. Because Virgin Media has their own independent broadband network, they'll need to send an engineer out to your address to get you set up unless you've used them before. This can sometimes be a bit of a hassle compared to some other providers. Some customers have had trouble getting an appointment completed and Virgin Media also sometimes charges a missed appointment fee if you're not there at the right time. This practice is quite common among broadband providers, but some Virgin Media customers have had problems with this. Which leads us on to our next problem with Virgin Media, their customer service. According to this Ofcom report, Virgin Media customers have more reasons to complain than any of the other major British broadband providers. They're also quite dissatisfied with complaint handling procedures and spend a longer amount of time on hold when contacting customer support than average. As of the beginning of this year, Ofcom has also begun investigating Virgin Media because customers are having a hard time cancelling their contracts. The problem is you have to get in touch with Virgin Media to cancel and recently a lot of people have been having trouble doing this. The live chat can be quite unresponsive and it can also be difficult to speak with someone on the phone. This is not such a big issue with other providers that have better customer service ratings like Plusnet, BT and Sky. This is really quite concerning that Virgin Media has let the situation get this bad. Most other networks allow you to just cancel the contract online or switch easily by just going and buying another broadband deal on a different provider's website. According to some people, it's common for the call to drop out when you phone Virgin Media or it might be that someone actually doesn't answer the phone at all. Of course, for a lot of people, you won't ever need to phone Virgin Media, but if you ever have issues, it's a lot easier if your provider will answer the phone quickly and provide good support. Now, one of the reasons you might be looking at Virgin Media is because other providers like BT aren't available in your area. If this is the case and you want fast speeds, but you don't want to join Virgin Media because of their customer service, you could look at something like the 3 5G Hub. This is a mobile broadband router that connects to the internet using 5G signal. Then it creates a Wi-Fi network you can use to get online, just like any other router. You can get speeds of around 200 to 300 megabits per second on average with this router, assuming you have good 5G signal at your address, for about £25 per month. To learn more about the 5G Hub, click our link to the review of this router, which is linked in the description. So, at the moment, it's difficult for us to recommend Virgin Media just based on their customer service performance at the moment. Until they fix this and stop receiving so many complaints, it's a lot better to choose a provider like BT or Sky if you can. You also might like to consider different alt-nets depending on where you live, such as high Optic or Community Fiber. If you want to see which other providers offer good value for money, remember to use our broadband deals guide. You can read about some of the best broadband providers on the market right now and the differences between them. If you find a provider that looks good, just click this button here to view their pricing on all their different deals. And if you have any questions about Virgin Media or choosing a broadband provider more broadly, leave a comment below.